uh, okay. we are asked to find the surface area of the figure and looking at the figure is a prism because it has two identical bases so we know that the area the surface area or the total surface area is always the area lateral that's lateral area plus two times area of the base it has two bases so the remaining part is called the lateral the lateral area so and we know that lateral area is always perimeter times height plus two times area of what base so in this case the area the base is a triangle so we apply area of a triangle here which is half half base times height but meanwhile looking at the triangle is this triangle is a right angle triangle are you seeing it because this is three four five if you sum the squares of three and four you get square of five right angle triangle that is that is actually the angle here is 90 degrees so the base and height the base is three the height is four so we have perimeter remember perimeter of the base is three plus four plus five times the height our height is eight plus two times half base times height our base is three or four anyone could be the height of so we have three plus four is seven seven plus five two of twelve times eight is ninety six plus that's two and a half so it's gone three times four is twelve so we have ninety six plus twelve which is one o eight so our answer is C. The diagram represents a regular prism. We are asked to find the total surface area and the volume of volume of it. So the first thing we need to know the form have area. Surface of a prism. The total surface area of a prism is always area lateral that's lateral area plus two times area of the base because as you can see a prison has identical bases so why the other part the remaining part is the lateral area so the base that's why it's two so let's get for the and we know that the area that's for lateral area is always perimeter perimeter times height plus two this is the base the area of a base is half base times half base times height so that's the area for the base because it's a triangle so let's continue here so perimeter perimeter of a base we need to find the we have a that we are given this length given this length so we need to get this and how do we get it we use Pythagorean theorem so from Pythagorean theorem this length is square root of a squared plus 4 squared that's this length the hypotenuse and as you can see okay let's we have square root 8 squared 4 squared so what is common is you know it is four times two so i can break it as four squared in two squared plus one i just used logic eight is four times two so the squared the four four here squared and the two squared you factor four squared so we are left with two squared here and we're left with one so we now have 4 squared times 5. 
and square root of 4 4 squared is 4 square root of 5 no perfect square root so this length is 4 root 5 so let's now continue our perimeter so perimeter now perimeter is 8 plus 4 plus 4 root 5 you get that as the perimeter of the base times the height the height is 10 so this perimeter times the height plus in this half base times two times half is one so we are left with base times height so the base remember is for the triangle the base is four the height is eight so we have eight plus four is 12 so we have 120 10 times 12 is 120 plus 10 times 4 root 5 is 40 root 5 plus 8 times 4 is 32 so our answer our answer is 120 plus 32 is 152 plus 40 root 5 so that is our area that is the surface area total surface area and for the volume the volume volume is always base area times height and the base area the area of this base is half the base 8 times 4 times the height is 10 so times 10 so we have 2 2 that 16 16 times that is 1 6 so our answer is a